Hey everybody, this is Avi Avalo of IsraelUnwired.com here at the foot of Herodian. This was Herod's summer pa palace that he built right on the outskirts of Jerusalem. Here we go, the beautiful Judean hills. There you can see Jerusalem in the background. The beautiful Gushetzion area of Judean hills right here. Shalom! So I'm here today with this whole group of people that is here touring the area. And uh, I want to tell you something fascinating that just comes out in the movie. They do a very, very powerful movie here at Herodian. So come here and visit and go up on top. Horrible connection here. Uh, but before I continue, thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you who watches the videos that I do and shares them. And anyone who wants to support the important work we do to share the truth and inspire people with the truth about Israel and the Jewish people, click on the link below and you can make a tax-deductible donation to help us continue this important work of sharing the truth with the videos and the internet. So what's the fascinating thing about Herod? King Herod's name lived on because he's a, he was a master builder. He built this special castle. He built the second temple. He built Masada, right? He expanded the second temple to make it the most marvelous, unbelievable building. He built Caesarea, the, the city of Caesarea and the ports. And he built Ma'arat HaMachpelah, the tomb of the patriarchs in Hebron, where the patriarchs and matriarchs are buried. That's why it looks like the building of the second temple, both built by Herod. He was a master builder and his name and legacy lives on as the master builder. Builder. But believe it or not, as a leader, he was hated. He was hated by, by the Jews in the land of Israel. He was a tyrant. He killed his own family. He killed his wife. He killed his children. I'm walking through the entrance here at Herod, at Herodian. He murdered uh, siblings. He, he murdered children. He, he was always afraid of someone uh, rebelling against him. And he was a tyrant. One of the Roman leaders at the time said it was preferable to be a pig in Herod's castle than to be a son. That's how horrible King Herod was. And yet, even though that's who he was as a person, horrible person, people hated him, still today because of what he did for the Jewish people in the land of Israel, and look at all these people here visiting today, all these buses, his name lives on. So it shows you, folks. It shows you. First of all, always try to be a big good person. Don't be like Herod. Be a good person. But sometimes even people that have faults, and sometimes big faults, if they stand on the right side of history, if they stand with the Jewish people, and they stand with the land of Israel and supporting the Jewish people in the land of Israel, they will go down in history like King Herod. There's Herodian right up there. Come and visit. Come see the beautiful Judean hills, the unbelievable ancestral homeland of the Jewish people. Come visit. Come to Herodian. Walk through these magical mountaintops and valleys. Visit whenever you can. Be inspired by Jewish history, by the people who made up Jewish history. And always remember, those who bless Israel are blessed. Those who curse Israel are cursed. And no better example than King Herod himself. Signing off and saying shalom from the ancestral homelands of the Jewish people here the Judean hills at the foot of Herodian. Thanks for watching everyone. Shalom.